Pippi has these dark stains in the corner of her right and left eyes. In this video, you're going to find out what Pippi has, what I'm going to do about it, and what you can do about it if your dog has the same condition. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then we click the link directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book. Pippi has a condition called nasolacrimal obstruction. It means a big fancy term for a blocked tear duct. Oh, and she has a big tongue. In the corners of Pippi's right and left eyes, she's got this marked tear staining. So pigment from the tears contains iron and it stains fur a dark sort of orangey brown color. Pippi has this white fur, hence you're seeing these sort of unsightly black lines. It is more an unsightly though. It means that there's something medically wrong with your dog. They've got these blocked tear ducts. All this excess fluid uh, can be prone to secondary bacterial infection. It can be uncomfortable for your dog. So it really is a good idea to explore what's going on, potentially treat it with a couple of these holistic options. These are three holistic options to consider. The first remedy involves a compress, but before we do that, we're first gonna clean the eyes. The first thing is to get yourself some warm water and either a gauze swab or something like these, these cotton pads, which are used to remove makeup. Let's show them on YouTube how easy this is. There. We're going to get those as clean as possible. There, picture, look. Hmm. Let's get all rid of that stains first. Okay. Now that Pippi's eyes are well cleaned, we're then going to apply the warm compress with either hot water or tea. So the easiest option is to use something like this clean cloth. Some of this warm water. It needs to be warm enough to touch, but still quite hot. So the tear ducts are located right here uh, in the corner of the lower lid and they drain down that nasolacrimal duct in here into your nose. So we're, we're compressing and applying that hot cloth right into the corner of her eye. Right. And that's something you're going to want to be doing three to four times a day for a minimum of 14 days to see if this is being beneficial or not. The other option is to use a warm tea bag. I'm gonna scoop out this now still fairly warm tea bag. And no, Pippi doesn't get to eat it. So here, Pipster, we're gonna use this tea bag as a compress. It's a great option for most of our dogs if they do have eye infections. I really like tea because it's naturally antibacterial as well as being really soothing. So a really good option if we're trying to help also treat blocked tear ducts. The second thing I want to discuss is using massage to help potentially loosen up that blocked tear duct. This is very common in people, you know, especially in uh, infants that have blocked tear ducts, and often this works. We just never really talked about doing this in our animals. Wet cloth once again. Pippi's left eye. So, when you're doing that compress, that hot compress with the cloth, just put a little bit of sort of gentle circular pressure right here in the corner of the eye. So it's something you can do while you're applying the hot compress. Also doing a bit of a lower eyelid massage to see if we can really loosen up that blocked tear duct. What do you think, Pipster? You're actually pretty good about that. Good girl. You are. Something Pippi wants to eat. Number three, we're going to try a natural topical remedy which may help first with the staining itself. So you're going to actually have less tear staining as well as something you can give orally which may help decrease inflammation, help open up those blocked tear ducts. It is this guy, coconut oil. We're going to apply the coconut oil topically. First, it's a great natural antibacterial. Secondly, it's going to help repel those tears. You're going to see less tear staining. And third, it may actually help deal with that underlying inflammation so we unblock the tear duct in the first place. 
it's better if you're gonna use organic, unprocessed coconut oil. You don't wanna be adding all those nasty toxins to your dog. So we're gonna get a scoop of coconut oil. Okay, yes, which Pippi wants to eat. Okay, take two, because the hound seems to be eating all my coconut oil. Okay, bam, 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 sir. Bam, sir. If you have a lab, this might be a problem. So get yourself a small scoop of coconut oil. You're gonna wanna be doing this a minimum of twice a day for a good two week period. I think ideally four times a day. A little bit on the end of a clean finger and right in the corner of your eye or just below the corner of your eye where all the staining is happening, we are going to wipe on this coconut oil. So what a lot of people say is not only does it sort of decrease the infection that can be present, it also helps repel tears and deal with the staining. So many people are saying after about two weeks, the stains look much better. So we're gonna do the left eye, little, little pippy. Let's get it in the right eye. Careful not getting into the eye. We just don't wanna get the eye infected. Then as well as applying it topically to the skin, you can also give some of the coconut oil to your dog orally. It's a great natural anti-inflammatory. It may actually also help those blocked tear ducts. Plus, tastes good, Bippy likes it. We're gonna be doing a quarter, about a quarter of a teaspoon for 10 pounds twice a day. I mean, she gets about a teaspoon. Oh, Pippi, just don't eat my finger. Ah! Oh, yummy. She likes coconut oil. Just wanna go slow. Last thing you want is your dog to end up with diarrhea. Okay, it's the two-week coconut challenge. Hopefully that's gonna help your eyes, Pipster.